Now, what if we have multiple linear equations or a system of linear equations? How can we shade the appropriate region? So first, let's graph it. Let's plot the line x is equal to or greater than negative 1, which is a vertical line. It's also a solid line because it can be equal to negative 1. And we have another one at 2. This one's going to be a horizontal line. And y is greater than 2 but not equal to 2, so it's going to be a dashed line. Now let's focus on this one. x is equal to or greater than negative 1. When x is greater than a number, it's to the right of that number. So we're going to have to shade to the right of the vertical line. Now let's focus on y. Now let me use a different color. y is less than 2. So we have to shade below the horizontal line. So we need to choose a region where the equation is true for both. The answer is basically the region where both colors are shaded. So this is the answer. The equation is true. Well, it's true for both equations in that region. And that region, x is greater than negative 1 and y is less than 2. So that's the answer. Now let's try another example. Let's say that y is greater than 2x minus 3, and also that y is less than negative x plus 5. Go ahead and try this one. So the first graph has a y-intercept of negative 3, and it has a slope of 2. So as we travel one unit to the right, we need to go up two units to get the next point. And then if we travel one more unit to the right, go up two, and then repeat the process. Now we need to graph this using a dashed line. Now let's graph the second one. But this time I'm going to graph it in a light gray color. So the y-intercept is 5, and the slope is negative 1. So as we travel 1 to the right, we need to go down 1. And it's going to be a dashed line as well. So this is it. Now, which of the four regions should we shade? Should we shade this region, this region, this one, or that one? What would you say? Well, let's focus on the first equation, the one with the red line. Y is greater than the function. That means we need to shade above that line. So the blue line exists in these two regions. So the answer won't be here, and it won't be there. Now let's focus on the second equation y is less than the function. It's less than negative x plus 5. So it's less than the gray line. Notice that the only region where both equations are true is this region. And so that's the region that's going to be shaded. So that's the answer. Let's try this one. Let's say x is greater than 1 y is less than or equal to 6, and y is greater than 3 over 2x minus 3. So let's start with the first graph. So x is greater than 1. So that's going to be a dashed line at 1. Now the next one, y is less than or equal to 6. So that's a horizontal line at 6. Each mark represents a value of 1. And then let's go ahead and graph this function. The y-intercept is at negative 3. Actually, let me use a different color so you can see it. And the slope is 3 over 2. The top number is the rise, the bottom number is the run. So the rise is 3, the run is 2. 
which means we need to rise three units, go up three, and then run two units to the right. That will take us to the point uh, two, zero, which is the x-intercept. And then we need to go up three over two. So that will take us to the point four, three. And it's going to be a dashed line. So we need to find out where we need to shade. So first, x is greater than 1. That means we need to shade to the right of this function. Next, we can see that, let's use a different color, y is less than 6. It's less than or equal to 6. So we have to shade below the gray line. And then y is greater than this function, so we need to shade above the blue line. So what region has all three colors? Notice that it's the region that's enclosed by all three graphs. It's basically this region here. It has all three colors. It's less than y equals 6 is to the right of x is greater than 1, the red line, and it's above the blue line. So that's where all three shaded regions exist. So only this answer, this region should be shaded. So that's the answer. Now let's say if we have two linear equations in standard form, 2x plus 3y is greater than 6 and 3x minus 4y, let's say it's less than or equal to 12. What I'd like to do, instead of using test points, i like to solve for the variable y. In the first equation, to get y by itself, we need to move the 2x to the left side. So it's negative 2x plus 6. And then we need to divide everything by 3. So y is greater than negative 2 over 3x, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So this is the first equation that I'm going to graph. Now the second one, let's move negative 4y to this side. So it becomes positive 4y. And let's take the 12, move it to the left side, so it's going to become negative 12. So therefore, 3x minus 12 is less than or equal to 4y. And then just divide everything by 4. So thus we'll have this equation, 3x over 4 minus 3 is less than or equal to y, which if you reverse the equation, it's y is equal to or greater than 3 over 4x minus 3. And so I'm going to use this form of the equation. So let me just erase a few things. I'm just going to rewrite the two important equations on top. So personally, I find it easier to do this. to solve for y and then graph it. But that's just me though. You can use test points if you want to. Okay, I didn't want that to happen. So now let's go ahead and begin. So let's put the marks first. Now let's graph the first one. The y-intercept is 2, and the slope is negative 2 over 3. So the rise is negative 2, the run is 3. And that's going to take us to the point 3, 0. And then we need to go down 2, and then over 3. So that will take us to the point 6, negative 2, somewhere in this region. And so if we just draw a rough sketch, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to look something like that. Now let's graph the other one. The y-intercept is negative 3, and the slope is 3 over 4. So we need to go up 3 units and over 4. So that will give us the x-intercept 4, 0. And it's greater than or equal to, so we're going to connect those two points with a straight line. 
All you need is two points to graph a linear equation. So the answer is either in this region, this region, this one, or this one. It's one of the four. So let's start with the first function, the red line. Y is greater than the function, so we need to shade above the red line. Which means that it's either in this region or this region. Now let's graph the next one. Y is greater than the function, so it's greater than the gray one. So it's no longer this region. Therefore, the answer is this region here, the top one. The answer is true for both functions in that region.